Whether you're home or you're out for a drink, I hope that you can take pause and think, because if you have time, you'll send me a rhyme and win vinyl by using this link. My day had been fairly mundane when HI started up in my brain. So I jumped to my feet, thought I must send a tweet. At Brady Heron, I'm not on a plane. Oh my God, I love that. I was thinking maybe Operation Twinkle Toes. <laughs> I'm talking about limited edition Hello Internet sneakers. Brady takes this ridiculous show to places it never should go. From small pens to rice rats and cricketers nice bats, Gray is always the last one to know. <laughs> Let's number this episode with Roman numerals. Brady, I would never do that kind of thing. <laughs> I take the consistency of the metadata and the file names, I take it very seriously. I would never do such a thing. Welcome to The Buzz with CGP Grey. I have this like crazy idea that you know what I'd love to do in my retirement? I'd love to raise bees. Will you ever grant an official status to anything ever again? We'll have to find out. We'll have to find out, Brady. <laughs> Our place, this big pixel art. The most interesting thing is that the huge number of tins that there are were able to secure a corner of the place for Hello Internet. Mm -hmm. So I have to give total credit to our audience that this was 100% arranged and accomplished just by them. Boy, was I disappointed with the way that Trafalgar Square is set up now. There are signs everywhere, everywhere, telling you you're not allowed in the fountains and you're not allowed on the lions. It seems, Brady, that Trafalgar Square is doubling down on their policy of no fun. Well, now the whole lion area had like this like black and yellow crime scene-esque tape. There was no water in the fountains. <laughs> wow. So there was no fun to be had in the fountains. In kind of the feedback section, I think two things have been burning a hole in my inbox and crashing the servers at Reddit. Oh yeah. And the first of those would be the continuing discussion about our use of the term ambulance drivers. At one point, your design suggestion for the 51 star flag was living on the Wikipedia page for future suggested versions of how the 51 star flag might look. But then in the, in the middle, the music gets all serious and people start holding hands. And there's like a little moment of like, oh boy, how did we come together in 2017? Like we all came together as a community. And it's like, don't feel guilty about it at all because as far as I'm concerned, this is exactly what the Radio Times wanted. They wanted a gigantic click machine. They left all the doors wide open for every possible <laughs> way that you could click. Wow, this is a new microphone. What does the bass say, Brady? The bass says, Dr. Brady Harron, radio and podcast champion, 2017. You won the internet radio competition podcast voting extravaganza that the Radio Times put on. And what was there from the Radio Times? Not but silence. This particular launch happened just recently on August 13, and this thing went up 100 miles, so it went into space. But this one was a bit special, because as far as I know, this is the first time that the Hello Internet nail and gear flag has gone into space. <laughs> there was a nail and gear flag in the nose of this rocket. And oh, so the nail fantastic. and gear flag has now been into space. Wow. I know what you're thinking. I know what you're thinking. What am I thinking, Brady? Medal of Honor. Well, me Medal of Honor, obviously. <laughs> there needs to be some sort of like monument around this Hello Internet artifact. It, there is no way you could call it the eclipse of the century. And even if you are being America-centric, they have a better eclipse this century. When is the better eclipse? Oh, it's like right at the end of the century. Okay, we'll promise right now, if the podcast is still running, <laughs> we'll be there for the second eclipse of the century. So can I call it iPhone X? I know I'm supposed to call it 10. But... Okay, no, let's, let's get this on the record here. I am boycotting the 10. All I'm right. not going along with their it's iPhone 10. 
Like, I'm sorry. If you're going to put the big letter X there, I'm calling it X. It's, it's not going to happen on that ball. What is emoji decks? <laughs> Whatever it is, the representation of a bee is like a man in a bee costume yeah. wearing a mask, stealing some honey. Oh, that's honey. He said, like, okay, yeah. That messenger frog, it feels like he's watching you in the back. Messenger <laughs> frog feels like. I don't like it. That smile, those creepy eyes, and his looking to the side like that. Like, oh, hey. I've just got this picture in my head of you like pulling your trousers up Sorry and then guys, looking up at the window and then that frog's just like got beady eyes 17. right up against the glass. And what it's doing with its mouth also makes it look kind of a little bit sleazier. That's an uncomfortable good. emoji. Okay. Does CGP Grey ever sing? I can't imagine you singing to yourself. I mean, Brady, I, I am human after all. So you would sing along. You would never sing without music to sing along with. You wouldn't like just walk oh. down the stairs and sing like the first line of a song that's stuck in your head for some reason. I'm literally not sure I could do, like this didn't even occur to me as a scenario. I'm gonna give this uh, class photo a thumbs down. <laughs> it's really weird. It kind of looks like it is a clothing catalog. I wouldn't be surprised to learn this is actually a composite photo of a bunch of shots. Gray, it totally is. They were okay. all photographed as like in twos or threes. Right, okay. Separately, and then they were all put together afterwards. Next time they ask for $10 billion to cure cancer with experiments in space, someone's just going to wheel out a picture of him dressed as Spider-Man and saying, are we sending you up there for a jolly so you can pretend to shoot webs out of your wrists? Universal paper clips. I feel the need to warn listeners. Like, listeners, I'm going to put it in the show notes. But don't click unless you have like a like a weekend free. <laughs> I clicked the link and it was like, oh, goodbye, two days. Don't do it on your phone. I think we've come up with the mass produced item piece of podcast Hello Internet related merchandise to rule them all. Because we now have, can I call them official? Yeah. Oh, yeah. They're, they're official. They're as official as official can be. All right. We have official Hello Internet hot stoppers. We talked our way into dog sitting uh, our neighbor's new puppy. I have been like a like a stay-at-home doggy dad for the past week, uh, taking care of a little bulldog breed puppy who is very cute. I'm going to call him uh, Mr. Chompers uh, because he <laughs> chomps on absolutely everything. I mean, here's the thing, Brady. You, you said I have changed. I don't think I have changed at all. Mm. I'm still the same person. Mm. But I do feel like I've fallen into an alternate universe version of London. It's like I live in a completely different city when I go out walking with Mr. Chompers. It is a city that is filled with dogs who want to interact in a way that they just never did before. So it's, it's like a whole new world for me. Can I wish a happy birthday to CGP Grey, the penguin at Bristol Zoo? Oh! So CGP Grey, the lady penguin, may well outlive me. <laughs> I don't know what I'm worried about. Apparently, Bristol Zoo, where CGP Grey, the penguin, lives, mm -hmm. has sent 19 of its young South African penguins to Tbilisi. Are you telling me that CGP Grey, the penguin, might have died? No, Gray, the penguins have been sent after the flood to help restock the zoo. Oh, okay. CTP Gray, the lady penguin, wing tag number A20583. Mm -hmm. I don't know where she is. Tbilisi Tims, you were called upon in this moment. <laughs> you weren't expecting this, yeah. but we're relying on you. I must have been there 45 minutes, and then suddenly these two people appear behind me. Then the head of communication says, well, unfortunately, <laughs> C.G. Pigray the penguin died on the trip to Tbilisi. <sighs> oh, 